anything else on writing that you think is important to? I think the main thing about writing is to let go of that itty bitty shitty committee that I talk about. Right? I mean, that perfectionism. I was just, uh, my, I teach, uh, I've been teaching a class at Stanford and my co instructor and I were meeting yesterday. He's got a new job and, uh, so we were just talking about, but he's got a new book coming out and he had to turn it in like a few weeks ago for the first time or for the final time. And he's going to get, I think he gets one more round of drafts and, and he's so painful for him to turn this book in. And I was commiserating with him. And I think for both of us, it's this sense of, you know, this sense that perfectionism is never possible. And he said his, his editor finally had to say, all those changes you want to make, those go in your next book, right? Because if you never put it to bed, if you never put it out in the world, what was the point? And I've seen too many people in that perfectionism mode. And it, it just makes me so sad, honestly, that, that we get ourselves so caught up in that bar going higher and higher and higher and, and thinking it's just never good enough, that that it just holds back so much opportunity for people to learn from us. Um, alternatively, I, there's a, a woman I've known for many years who told me that she'd written a book in like three weeks. And I think that also makes me sad, right? Because you know, there is a sense that we must put our best foot forward. We must do the, we must do the hard work, which is to, to honor our audience by, by thinking more deeply than just the first thoughts off our head. And so I think there is that struggle with where is the middle ground between that super high bar and that, you know, just kind of throwing schlep out there just because I want to say I have a book that I'm, I'm, I'm troubled by, you know, either we're too, too hard on ourselves or too easy on ourselves. So where do we get that middle ground? And I think the only way is by having some colleagues, like a developmental editor, or having some having somebody who you trust who can be that person to read your book for you, et cetera. So I think that is or read your articles too and and you need a cheerleader but you also need the editor and so i think that's the we think of this as a solo sport and i don't think writing is a solo sport we need we need help 